Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny Channel. Today I am going to teach how to make the inventory management system using Python with print receipt. Now here let us show the demo first. Here, this is a simple demo. Here, here if you have ordered the cock, you have to enter the price here. Twenty dollars. Two. One price I am going to enter as ten. Quantity one. Right now here if you click add button it will be added over here this is the total price if you click print here the simple print receipt will be display over here right it's very simple system in python uh, there are many students who ask me to do the system will bill, bill, bill print so that i did this one uh, let us show the demo this is the demo let's back to our tutorial right so here this is the code I, which i written uh, don't worry about this code all the stuff I will provide for free right this all the code for I have attached my uh, tutors funny website you will be able to download it right so you don't worry about the codes right here you have first you have to understand the code first right so first we have to apply the GUI application in Python from this is the class right you have to import all the GUI application right so first we have to design the form first right this is the design right this is the title which i gave bill print inventory system using python here this is the title right we are given right after that this is the heading bill print inventory system using python this is the heading we have the title we have to write okay this is so, sorry this is the heading we have written after that we have to write the check boxes this check box is relevant uh, here this is the check boxes we have the check box code i have defined only uh, six check boxes we have to write here over here this is coca cola here this is the coca cola first thing. coca cola this is the relevant position where the uh, this text should be placed on the window uh, this is the second checkbox this is the text bun this is the third one kitchen uh, chicken fry the fourth one will be the rolls fifth one will, will be the fish fried rice right these are the check boxes i have designed on the window right here this is the design we have to return right? this is a window right design. these are the called as text boxes so here we, these are the text boxes we have written right this is, these are the places we have to write here text boxes right these are the text boxes we are we almost we design this all these these are all text boxes right this is the text boxes we have written here right these are text boxes we have written these are relevant position where the text boxes will be display on the window we have to define the, all the text boxes you can see here right this uh, the position will be the must right x and y position right x and y position you must study all the stuff okay it's very simple stuff right after that what i did here is we have a total right this is a total label you it here this is a total label this one this here we have a text box here uh, label here it won't show when the when the uh, when the all the item price all will be calculated finally it will be show the label over here right so here this will be the add button it's a print for print button it's a add button print button you have to declare this add button this is a print button right so here is the code right here this is a, this is the called as we have to this is this is the called as list uh, tree view right this is a tree view box this is a tree view box we have folks it's a code right so how to create the tree view box for simple code we have it right here so all the components we have to added into the root dot main loop mean we have to all the things will be display on the frame like this okay that's how we have to do the stuff here python right after that what i did here is we have to make the validation part right when you select the, all the uh, imagine if you have select the coca cola and bun this is a variable one is a variable two right so this is a variable and variable two, right so here if you check this one and click uh, add button this is add button it's called the show the show def this is a method right so we have to declare the variable dot var dot get mean what is the value of this var mean this one this is the var coca cola what is the value you are get the coca cola if it is coca cola right first what is the price coca cola this is a get the price uh, what is the price you have entered on the text box quantity ed1 ed6 mean this is a name of the text box ed1 ed2 6 right this is a, this is a price this is a quantity right 
So we have to, this is a C is six like it like this, right? What is the price you entered here? It assigned to the price variable. What is the quantity you entered here? Assigned to the total variable. So here we have to calculate the total. After that, we have to write the array list over here. We have named it a temp list. This is the name. This is the ta, uh, five drives, right? We have to put it the five drives name. But here to write uh, this is a cock. Okay, this is not this one cock. Cock. We have to change this one to cock. Coca Cola. This one should be, you have to name it as second one should be the bun. Third one should be the, what's the thing we have to done here? Bun, chicken fried rolls, chicken fried rolls. But you have to change the name or over here, right? So here, What is the name? Coca-Cola, relevant price, relevant quantity, total should be calculated and put into this variable. After that, we have to add the, all the list into the relevant uh, tree view columns, right? You have to write the, you have to write the enumerate, enumerate right? So here, this is 10, right? You have to, this relevant position, it will be display over here. We have to specify the relevant position over here. List box dot insert we have to put the relevant position. We have uh, only four values are there. So this is a four, four columns are there. So this is a four values, right? This is all the values coming from here. What is what you are designed, uh, what if you are entered on the text box, passing here, passing here, passing. All the values should be passing to this relevant columns, right? This all the columns should be added over here, right? Like this, two, three, like this. Click here, it's added here. So final total should be added here. That's how we have to calculate, calculate the price, right? If if you select the second one, should be calculate the same thing. If it's the third, if you select as a chicken fry, it calculate the same thing like this, right? What I explain over here, the same thing. Okay. So all the stuff we have to do the stuff here, right? At the finally we have to calculate the total. Total means this final total we have to calculate here. I have declared in the variable sum. We have to write the four child in. Uh, list box dot get children means this all the children. This is a tree, tree view. This this all the list should be the children. Uh, this all the list, right? So here we have the children. It, it has a method. Sum plus float list view item child, uh, child values three mean. What is the meaning of that one? It look like array. Position should be always. This one should be the. Uh, uh, this one should be the. Uh, zero uh, one two sorry zero position one two three third position should be the total right this third position we have to put it here right because it look like array right the table concept look like array its starting position should be zero one two three that's why you have to put it here three what is the column here your three is a total it all the what you are entered all the values if I enter the value uh, one by one, it all the value should be calculated. If you put the plus sign over here, and it will be put it as sum, it will be display over here. It is passing the relevant text box, talk text. We have to pass it here as talk text. Okay, that's the stuff we have to did over here. Very simple. Uh, after that, what I did here is, it's all the total should be display over here, right? Like this. One. If you click this here, display here. After that, when you are click print button, here the small window, it will be simple design of the print receipt. I have designed below, the simple one, have designed it. Uh, the look like this one. Here, when you click the print button, it's a print button code. It goes to the method, it's a command. Inside the command, you have to write print, right? It goes here. Print method, simple code, right? It's a simple design I have made, right? So here, first we have to get it the value of the text box, this value, for the value of here. If you are getting and put it to this variable, you have to write the top, top level. This is the, we have to, dif different window, this one. We have to provide the size of the window. Window size, we have to provide, this is a different window. When you click the print button, it goes to a different window. So we have to mention the size of the window. After that, we have to add the color. I have to, the window color should be white because the print receipt should be, look like a white. So I have at the paper size as white, here this like. 
it's a white white paper here if you add the if you click this one here you can see here it will be a white okay so the white paper we have to see here after that we have to uh, uh, this one adding receipt you have to write these are the columns should be displayed over here item uh, price quantity these are the heading of that one you have to write the heading we have to write heading you have to write all the stuff you have to add that this after that we have to write the list still runs okay we have to loop it right what are the things you have available we have to loop it the first one should be the zero column should be the item the zero column should be the item this is a here, sorry this one not this here zero column should be the items uh, this is a one mean price two mean quantity three mean total right so that we have to list that here so the column we have to list that and we have to put into the relevant variables over here one by one item price quantity total right now here we have to write the columns so here we have to add it all the here so here all the values right this what are the values available these columns it is passing to total price and quantity so all the stuff you have to add it here this all the stuff you will be display over here this one display over here right now after that finally we have to calculate the total so this is total calculation it will be displayed under below here total here you have to write total what is the column it will be all the stuff will be calculated and it displays the total the total means this one uh, here what is the total over there this total we have to put it here this total so what is the total over here right this total we have to display over here right this is simple code i have written don't worry about this this code i ha i will be attaching my tutorsfunny.com uh, you will be able to download and use use your uh, projects uh, thank you for watching if you like my channel please subscribe me like me thank you for watching